Hi there. I just thought of maybe talking about this little project that I've been working on with my Raspberry Pi. And sad to say that I may need to take it apart anytime soon in order to make way for my future projects. So just before I do that, I just thought of making this short video just to document what I've done so far. Now, just to give you an overview, this is actually a prototype of a home security system which I randomly thought of to kickstart myself in learning the Raspberry Pi. And let me go through each and every component with you uh, just to let you know what is in the system. Now, central to everything is the Raspberry Pi. This is the Pi 2. And as you can see, I have almost exhausted all of its GPIO pins. And eight of these pins is actually taken up by this 4x4 membrane keypad. This is actually a matrix keypad. And right beside it, this is a magnetic door contact sensor. Now, if you have a alarm system installed in your house, you should be able to see these sensors sticking out from your doors. Now, moving to the front, this is actually one of my favorite pieces. I, I kind of like it a lot. This is a 16 by 2 character LCD. And I actually had it hooked up uh, to a potentiometer here, which allows me to control its contrast. Now you can also see that the LCD has also taken up a number of pins uh, on the Raspberry Pi. And over here, this is a vibration sensor, uh, normally used to detect any um, vibration on windows and sliding doors. And right beside it, is a sound sensor. Now this sound sensor that I got doesn't really pick up any intensity of the noise. It just picks up any ambient noise and sends a digital signal back to the Pi. Now moving over to this little guy that looks like a dome. Um, this is a passive infrared motion detector. I'm using it to detect any motion and then from there I will actually send a signal to this official Raspberry Pi camera which will help me capture a few seconds of video. Now as you can see I have the camera mounted on this neatly done Canon kit casing which has cut holes uh, open up for the camera and I think it's pretty useful together with the mounting point and as you can see that. Now Let's see this system in action. I will just bring the sensors online and um, go through each sensor one by one. Now, as you can see, now all the sensors are online. I will just trigger one of them. You can see the door sensor works. Let's move on to the vibration sensor. Okay, that works too. Now let's move on to the sound. Now for the sound sensor, I do not make the buzzer beep because then the sound sensor will then pick up the sound and then it will beep and then it will pick up again and then it will actually go into an endless loop. So I'll just let the LED blink instead. Let's move on to the most interesting part, which is the motion detection. Now, once the motion detection has been triggered, the camera is actually recording. Now, let me disable the test mode so that I can move to my PC to show you uh, the video. Otherwise, oops. Give me a second here. Okay. Now let me show you the video. Now I'm using OMX player from the Raspberry Pi and this player is kind of crazy. 
it actually runs through the video pretty fast okay just let me zoom out a little so as you can see it actually picks up the video now what happens if we arm this system let's check it out Now the system is armed and if any of the core sensors have been triggered um, it will actually go into an endless uh, siren mode and it will actually require uh, the user to key in the pin number in order to uh, disarm it. So let's give it a shot. There you go. Uh, let's try one more time. Now let's try with the vibration sensor. So there you have it. Um, the password that you see me enter, it is actually saved into the Raspberry Pi. You can actually change it. Um, you can actually change it from here. And then you can actually key in the passcode. And you can then enter your new passcode and then it will actually save it into the Raspberry Pi. But I would not want to change my passcode. I'm happy with the one that I have now. So, there you go. This is what I've been working on. Now, this might not be um, the complete version. I don't actually have a gas sensor to detect smoke or gas leaks. And I also do not have a flame sensor to detect um, fire. So if you get your hands on those, maybe you also want to um, put it in if you are building something like this. And uh, I also understand that some of my friends, they actually freak out with all the wires. Now I have to say that um, I'm not really an electronics person. I just pick all this up uh, on my own, um, reading everything from the web. And I suppose all these cables that is taking up the GPIO pins, I'll probably need to look into I2C in future in order to uh, cut down the usage of uh, GPIO pins from the Raspberry Pi. So there you have it, um, the stuff that I've been working on and I hope you like it. Thank you for your time.